Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing another unboxing of an advent calendar. This one is from Sephora. This is what it looks like, so if you guys are curious to see what is inside and how this all unfolds, then just keep watching. Okay, so it looks like this, and then it opens up into a beautiful long castle. Can you guys see how long this is? It goes from over here all the way to my head. So it opens up into this really giant castle. It's really pretty though. It's really pretty though. I mean, this is all still holographic. This is white and gold and blue. I'm gonna fold these back though so that you can actually see. And this is the part with all the goodies inside. So let's start off with day number one. I'm just gonna go through day one to day 24 and show you what we get inside. They are listed on the back of the package, but it doesn't tell you which compartment they are behind, so it is a mystery to me. So let's dive right in. Obviously, spoiler alert, if you don't wanna know what's inside the Sephora 24 day advent calendar, then don't watch. This one's called the Once Upon a Castle. Here is day number one, so let's start off with that. Behind door number one, you get a peony fizzing cube. My kids love these little bath fizzies, so these will be going in their stocking, but don't tell them. Day number two is this long skinny one right here, probably a liner or lip product of sorts. It is the Sephora Crayon in intense black, so it is a pencil eyeliner. Day number three is over here. They have nice little like punch tabs so you can kind of put your finger in and pop the door open without too much difficulty. Getting the product out, however, proves to be a different story. This is the Sephora Universal Brow Freeze. Okay, so it's like a clear brow pencil to kind of hold it in place, that's nice. Day number four is up top. cute it is a Sephora color hit is this a nail polish nail lacquer look at that look how cute this is looks like a little Easter egg that's fun so everyone could use a little red polish around this time of year so that's day number four day number five is over here by the sleeping owl day number five is a Sephora lip liner in the shade classic red perfect Next up would be day number six over here on this side. Looks like another bath fizzy. This one is cotton flower. I think they had this one last year. It says fizzing cube, but I assume that means bath fizz. All right, day number seven is right here on the same side. Ooh, I see something that I like. Behind door number seven is one of Sephora's cream lip stains, and this is in 01, which I assume is like their classic red shade to go along with the lip liner. Perfect for Christmas. Door number eight is this big one up here. I'm hoping it's something for the face. Maybe a blush or powder. No. No. <laughs> It is the Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. I like to take these with me when I'm traveling. These are really good. You get two. All right, day number nine is down here on the holographic castle portion. And inside door number nine, you get Blueberry Creamy Body Wash Pod. This will be a million years if I tell you my theory or my opinion on every product, so I'm just gonna keep going. Now onto door number 10 up here. Behind door number 10, we get some nail polish remover wipes, which are good when I'm traveling or babysitting and don't want to bring a whole thing of nail polish with me. Number 11's down here. Ooh, we got another one of these little, like, nail polish little pods. They're really cute. Day 12 is right here. Looks like you get an emery board. All right, you can get these at the dollar store, not exciting. 13 is right here. What is this? 
Owl and Moon stickers? Really? Okay, pass on those. 14 down here. 14 is like a little phone cord hair tie, like the Invisibobble, similar to that. All right, not bad. Day 15 is down here. Day 15 is a little owl notepad. Don't know what these have to do with beauty, but okay. Door number 16 is over here. That's another big one. I wonder what it is. Ooh. A makeup sponge. Huh. That's nice. I don't think they've had makeup sponges before. All right, we're at 16. Here is 17. What is this? Oh, charcoal nose strips. I was just saying that I need some of these. So thank you very much, Sephora. What day was that? 17? All right, 18 is up top. Ooh, it's a matte shadow. It doesn't have the name of the color on the packaging, but on the back of the box, it says it's number 207, Lazy Afternoon. So that's nice. You get a nice usable matte shadow. Moving on to 19, which is over here. Ooh. Is this a full-size blush? It is. This is the Shame On You number one long-lasting blush. They changed their packaging up too. This is cute. Has a mirror and the blush shade inside. This is a perfect blush shade for me. So yay, thumbs up on this one. So that was 19. Moving on to 20. What is that? Ooh. Hopefully it wasn't breakable. Okay, behind door number 20, which has come off at this point, is a little owl one-sided mirror. I guess handy to have. All right, door number 21 is over here. I assume it's this little guy that's escaped. This is Cherry Blossom Fizzing Cube. So, so far we've gotten three bath fizzies. But we're getting close to the end. So we're at 21, 22. Ooh. I think I might already have this one. Oh no. I do, but it's one of my favorites. This is the Lip Stories lipstick. This one is Labyrinth City. Yep. I have it right back there in my collection. So this will be going in a future giveaway. I really like their lipsticks. So really exciting. These are only $8 a piece, but still, you get a full-size blush, you're getting a shadow, you're getting this, two nail polishes. I mean, I feel, like, I feel like this is a pretty good deal so far. 22, number 23, this is another big one, maybe another blush, maybe, fingers crossed. No, this is another Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipe, set of two. And we only have one door left, where is door 24? Down here, so this is the last one. This is Christmas Eve. You would get another hair bubble thing. Okay. All right, so all the doors have been opened. That is all 24 doors. Now, my thoughts on this advent calendar. I think it's fun if you like a combination of stationary makeup, bath products and hair care. If you're looking for strictly makeup, this is not strictly makeup. I generally prefer strictly makeup advent calendars because that's what I love. There are other advent calendars that are strictly hand care or skin care or nail polish. So if those are the things you want, maybe go towards that route. But if you like a mix of everything, I think you would enjoy this. We have masks, we have makeup remover wipes, we have nail polish wipes, bath fizzies, nail polish, blush, eyeshadow, makeup sponges, stickers, lip products, eye products, a mirror, and hair ties. So it's kind of like a good mixture of everything if you kind of want to dip your hands into all different areas of beauty. So I would definitely recommend this one. It was a lot of fun to open. I love the holographic packaging. If I had done a better job of opening it, I probably could have put it on display, but some of the doors kind of came off in process. But perhaps I can cover them up with, ooh, I can. Since I didn't ruin the 
top row of doors, I can put the front of the castle back over it and display it in the background, which is what I think I'm gonna do because this is really pretty. I feel like this is too pretty to throw out or to recycle. So I'm gonna use this as a background for some future videos, so stay tuned for that. But I do think that this is a good advent calendar. I would recommend it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Sephora Once Upon a Castle advent calendar. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.